was a memorable start to the week for Londonderry trainer Jason Vella, who travelled all the way out to Bathurst last Wednesday to land this win with Bill's mate. Jason used the local knowledge of driver Steve Turnbull and it paid dividends, giving Jason his fourth win in his harness racing career. In front now is Bill's mate. The Grey's gone to the lead. Talos Lover went into the gallop. It'll come last. Along the inside next now is Mr Wilbur. And then came behind them just a cool Joe. And sneaking between them, headline hunter. But the Grey Bill's mate. If you're picking horses on looks, that's the one you'd back. It's got aimed by about six or seven metres. Also in this edition of the week that was, trainer driver Brian Portelli continued his strong start to the season when producing this front running drive on Art Worker at Penrith last Thursday. Flying Gretna met away the widest, Art Worker in front, Sheik Matika length and a half away, then Donkey, Art Worker's kick, kick, kicking and home. Art Worker won the first one at a length and a half. At Wagga last Friday, Jess Pryor produced her first win of the season with this drive on Mod Cons. And Leonard's Pryor starting to run into it well, and Mackay can't come on. Down near the inside, Mod Cons has finally got to the lead. They're coming at it quickly, uh, but not quickly enough, are they? Mod Cons in front, it got there. Mod Cons has beaten Leonard's Pryor and Badlands Noddy. Also at Wagga last Friday, two heats of the Indigenous Drivers Series, the JC Caffin Plate, were held with Rainsman Jeff Brown and Danny Gibson getting the cash. This was Danny's win with On the Straight and Narrow, which ran a career best 156.8. On the Straight and Narrow, On the Straight and Narrow doing a little bit the better. Blackbird Power trying to fight back, but On the Straight and Narrow, On the Straight and Narrow has raced away, won it by two and a half to Blackbird Power. Norm's Courage is third. At Bathurst on Friday, the inaugural harness racing version of the Bathurst shootout was run and won by Modern Era, who who went into the final with the fastest shootout time trial and led all the way from barrier one. Getting clear now as Modern Era it's starting to put down the pressure on the inside as miles above back and forth as it's all about Lou on the outside Modern Era moves up and the fastest qualifier will win the shootout. In front on the line was Modern Era to defeat smack dab Shannon who was game. It was a memorable night at Newcastle for driver Maddie Young who landed yet another double. Win one was courtesy of Sweet As and it was this performance by Buck Hall exchange that sealed the second win for Maddie. Buckhorn exchange led getting off its back is Zach McCool then Adam Ashley down the outside Stevie D with Ken Fury Lass it's Buckhorn exchange in front Zach McCool tries hard Buckhorn exchange has a break though and Buckhorn exchange favourite leads pretty much throughout. Rainsman Chris Geary drove a double at Tabcourt Park Menangle last Saturday night including the group three feature with Code Black. Emmy Day's in front but for how much longer leads by a length coming at it out wide was Code Black and running on was Kondagan. Code Black struck the front with Kondagan. Code Black in front from Kondagan. Double event late, but Code Black in front for Pizzuto and Geary and Code Black. Also at Menangle last Saturday night, young driver Dan Morgan also continued his good strike rate when producing this winning drive on Sweet Ava. It's Valoroso Hanover, joined by Cleaned Out. Cleaned Out took the lead from Valoroso Hanover. I'm twice at a light, it's a train wreck. It's climbing over their backs with nowhere to go and Sweet Ava's dropped on them out wide. Sweet Ava, Sweet Ava took the lead and got up to win the last. Future stride second. Oh, it's a tragedy. I'm twice at a light, should have won by a mile. Goulburn horseman Brad Hewitt trained and drove two of the six winners at Canberra on Monday night with his two recent Kiwi imports in a light. And as you can see here, Sky Diamond. But around the corner, he's starting to coast home to the line. He's out by many, many lengths. The rest are struggling. And have a look at this very good horse go to the line, Sky Diamond in 2.9. They've gone about 157 or thereabouts. Rain's woman Lauren Tritton was in some close finishes at Menangle on Tuesday afternoon, but none as close as the last race where the judge could not separate her drive burning cash with the David Morris driven A Passion for Aces. But have a look at A Passion for Aces. It quickly levels up, goes on by. My elusive dream gets into the clear, burning crashes, flooding home when it's all over. The leader still is A Passion for Aces. Here's burning cash descending. The post looms nearly a dead eight. They're very wide apart. A passion for races had a slender margin just prior to the wire, but diving at it, burning cash, and it's made it interesting. And that was another edition of the week that was. Thanks for watching.